my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Erin and first things first if I look a little bit different I actually don't know if you guys can tell I feel like you can but I, I don't really know I chopped off my hair um, it was driving me insane so I took my scissors to it and just chop chop and this is the finished result I have to give a huge shout out to my boyfriend because he's the one that made it even because we had a little a little trouble at the beginning but you know he came through and he fixed it right up for me so yeah this is now my hair this is what I look like now I don't think it's that big of a difference but maybe you guys will notice I'm not really sure so today it's that time of the month again we are unpackaging my Nightworms package I am so excited for this month's package you can kind of see inside of it ah but you can't really see anything so I guess it's all secret. Let's start, shall we? Here is our little packet of goodies. It has a little heart sticker on it. It's so cute. So let's see what's inside. The first thing I see is Moonstruck Milk Chocolate Cinnamon Hot Chocolate. And this is actually from Portland, Oregon. This is the, the brand is a Portland, Oregon brand, which if you guys don't know, I live in Oregon, so that is really friggin' cool. I love hot chocolate, and I I don't, I don't think I've ever had hot chocolate with cinnamon in it, so, well, maybe? But it looks delicious. I know it's just the packaging, but it sounds really, really freaking good. And it's currently, there's currently snow on the ground, so it is the perfect time for hot chocolate. Oh my god, I see the sticker. Oh my god, I see the sticker. Look how cute it is oh my freaking goodness look look oh my goodness look at him he is a freaking cute as heck look at him he's got a little a little thing in his head a little uh what is that called a little pin <laughs> jeez a little thing in his head <laughs> oh my god he's adorable look at how cute he is Oh, they always have the best stickers. I don't understand. The stickers are always so flip flapping good. I see we have a book plate here, which is again really, really cool. We have a freaking cool bookmark in here. Look, it's got a tassel. It's got a little bat charm on the tassel. I don't know if you can even see. I'm like in the way. Do you see that? Look at how freaking cute that is. But it says, Beguiled by Night, a Vampire Tale. That sounds really cool. This is a really cool bookmark. This is what the other side looks like. It's very, very pretty. This is a really nice bookmark. I love bookmarks. I have a collection of them They're right there if you can see them. That's where all my bookmarks go. And then this is our monthly bookmark and the theme is love games. This is really cool. I love how it looks. And this is what the other side looks like. Very, very, very cute. I like this one, it's fun. And then we just have our little flyer that we get every month that says what we have in the package. And on the other side of this one, it says horror slash love story recommendations. And it has a bunch of books to check out for for February, how cute! I love that. I'm gonna look at this list because I want to read some other books. Next is the books. We have three books this month. I am so freaking excited. I cannot wait, so let's get into it. The first book is Tiny Nightmares, and it says Very Short Tales of Horror. The the cover, I almost said the background. The cover is so beautiful. Wow. That pink is vibrant. That is so, so freaking vibrant. It's beautiful though. I really like the cover. Let me read you what it says. 
In this playful, inventive collection, leading literary and horror writers spin chilling tales in only a few pages. Each slim, fast-moving story brings to life the kind of monsters readers love to fear. From broken-hearted vampires to uber-taking serial killers and mind-reading witches. But what also makes Tiny Nightmares so blood-curdling and unforgettable are the real-world horrors that writers such as Samantha Hunt, Brian Evanson, Jack Jemick, Jem Jemk? Ooh, I don't know how to say that. Stephen Graham Jones, Lilliam Rivera, Kevin Brockmeyer, and Ryan Amil Amilcar Scott. Ooh, these are hard for me to pronounce, weave into their fictions exploring how global warming, racism, social media addiction, and homelessness are just as frightening as, say, a vampire's fangs sinking into into your neck. Our advice, read with the hall light on and the bedroom door open just a crack. Oh, this sounds fun. I'm excited. This is such a cute little book. Oh my god, look at how adorable it is. I really like it. I like that it's called Tiny Nightmares. It's just a bunch of short stories in it. This is so cute. Oh, I'm really excited for this one. This is beautiful. Oh, really like this one. Next up, we have Wisteria Cottage by Robert M. Coates. Look at how beautiful this cover is. Oh my god, they all have beautiful covers. Look at this. This one's stunning. Wow. Oh, I'm in love. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh, I'm in love. Okay, it says... To Florence Hackett and her daughters, Eleanor and Louisa, Richard Barry, a handsome young bookstore clerk and aspiring poet, seems a little odd but harmless enough. With his amusing conversation and his eager to please attitude, Richard works his way into the Hackett's confidence until he is almost one of the family. When he suggests they rent Wisteria Cottage, a charming seaside residence, it seems to promise a summer of pleasant companionship and fun. What the Hackett's don't know is that Richard is a deeply troubled individual recently released from a mental institution and that their relaxing summer holiday will soon turn into a terrifying nightmare. <gasps> this sounds good. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, so far, both books, 10 out of 10s. So excited to read them. Beautiful covers, very interesting. This one sounds really good. And last, I am so excited about this one because it has been on my TBR for a hot minute now. When I first saw this book, I knew I wanted it. So I'm super glad to get this in the package because that means I finally have it and I don't have to uh, remember to buy it next time I buy books. But this is Antioch by Jessica Leonard. I think that's how you say it, Antioch. I don't know guys, you know I'm really bad with pronunciations, like really, really freaking freaking bad. But this cover, wow, these covers are beautiful. All three of them are stunning. This looks like a watercolor painting and it is just, oh my gosh, they, they're all three eye-catching, it's just so beautiful. This one says, Antioch used to be a quiet small town where nothing bad ever happened. Now six women have been savagely murdered. The media dubs the killer Vlad the Impaler due to the gruesome crime scenes of his victims. Clues are drying up fast and the hunt for the monster responsible is hitting a dead end. After picking up a late night transmission on her shortwave radio, a local bookseller named Bess becomes convinced a seventh victim has already been abducted. Bess is used to spending her nights alone reading about Amelia Earhart conspiracy theories and now a new mystery has fallen in her lap, one she might actually be able to solve, assuming she doesn't also wind up abducted. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, I can't even tell you. <sighs> Do I have a favorite out of the three? I don't know if I can tell you which one's my favorite or which one sounds like the best. They all sound freaking good and I'm going to need your guys' help on which one I should read first because I'm not gonna be able to choose. So someone's gonna have to choose for me because they all sound so good. I'm so excited. There you have it, my friends. That is what was inside my February Nightworms package. This was such a good one. This, I say this every time that it might be my favorite. I didn't think anything can top the Wormwood package we got with, you know, the book Wormwood in it. I was so obsessed with that package because I wanted Wormwood so, so bad. And after reading it, I absolutely know why I'm obsessed with it. It's a perfect book, but this one might, 
might be one of my favorites. I really like the three books in it. This is a good, good, good package. This is a really good package. I don't know, maybe it's my favorite, maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't, t I can't pick. That's like picking your favorite child. Maybe not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar, you know? So you guys are gonna have to let me know which book you want to see reviewed first because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick. I'm gonna have to do Eeny Meeny Miny Mo or something because I can't figure out which one I want to read. So either you guys help me out or it's gonna be random because I don't know. I don't know which one I like the most. They all sound really good. So let me know in the comments down below which one you would like me to check out first and do a review on. If you don't tell me, then um, I'm gonna be sad because I can't do this on my own. So you guys have to help me out. All right, my friends, that is going to do it for our video today. I love doing these videos. They are so much fun and they get me so excited. So I hope you guys had fun. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about books, movies, makeup, horror, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel. So hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Bye!